my name is Priscilla Barcelos, and I am a third grade teacher here at Lindo Park, and I'm here to talk to you about Gloucester EDU. I heard about Gloucester from a friend of mine, and we were working on our rainforest project in writing, and I just thought, what a cool way to do a creative part of the writing project. So I decided to implement the Glog and see where it went from there. A Glog is an online poster board that allows you to use graphics, text boxes, audio, and videos to present information. You can go to www.edu.glogster.com and take a tour of the website and find out more information about how to sign up. It is a creative and fun way for students to demonstrate what they have learned. There are different account levels that range from free to $99 for the year. One great thing is that if you sign up as a teacher, you may be offered a free 30-day trial for the premium version. This allows you to create multiple classes, change their usernames and passwords, and view the progress of their blogs. And then if you decide that you really love it, you might invest the money for the year to have it for other projects in the future. The first thing you need to do is have the kids research a topic and take notes about what they've learned. So some examples of a topic might be animals, famous inventors, sports, or anything else that interests them or goes with other curriculum. Then make a blog to show to the students. This is a great way to get familiar with the different tools, how to link, upload, and so forth. That way, teaching it will go a lot more smoothly. It is also great for the students to see an example of what theirs could look like, and that gets them really excited about it. Finally, create a flyer that includes all the requirements and a space for them to write their nickname and password. This is a good reference guide for them to refer to once they start working on their Glock. Pass out the flyers in a whole group situation, then show them your example blog. Go over all the requirements as a group and refer to the different parts of your blog as you discuss each requirement. I would suggest teaching the students as a whole group. If you have a one-to-one -one ratio of computers to students, then it would be ideal to have them follow along as you model it. Otherwise, a whole group lesson on the smart board followed by smaller guided lessons will work just fine. I would also suggest teaching one or two features at a time so as not to overwhelm them. This is the order that I did it. Day one, adding a picture to the blog wall, changing the color of the, pa of the page wall. Day two, adding images and image frames. On day three, adding text titles and text stickers. Also, how to change the font color, style, and size. And then finally, I taught them how to add videos and audio files. This can be a challenge if you only have a few computers in your classroom. I made sure to have a writing portion of the project so that when they worked on the computer, they had something to do and they were working on their writing and vice versa. You can also set up a rotation system. Having a computer lab is an ideal situation, but you can definitely make it work without it. I also have it as may do, so students go and work on their blog whenever their other work is completed. Once we go step by step, it'll probably get easier and easier. So far, my students seem really excited about their blog project. Some of them are even asking me if they could do blogs at home about other topics that interest them. So I'm really excited to see all of the blogs and how they turned out. <laughs>